Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Thursday. It is May the 5th, 2016. We'll look at races 1 and 3. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections. Today's first race from Belmont, it's a two-year-old race. It's a maiden special week going for a purse of $100,000 uh, for maiden's two-year-olds. This is one of the preps for the story of the Tremont. Whatever one is for the um, is for the boys, um, it gets to you. Astoria is the one for the, uh, well, it's one of those two. I don't want to, you know, I, I have a feeling it's the Astoria, but it's one of those two. But um, we have uh, eight horses, including a part of an entry, traveling the distance of five furlongs on the main track. Remember, there was a very quick run to that first turn. The, the turns here at Belmont are ginormous. So you want to try and get to the rail as quick as you can. Or you're gonna get taken out wide. Uh, five prongs, uh, they're are uh, they growing? And um, I'm gonna do um, a super fact to hear this race. Uh, I really like the six horse furlong, uh, making his second career start. Uh, gonna put that horse on top of a super fact to take it. Gonna go six two seven one six two seven one. Number six furlong at five two, um, coming in um, this Laurel Bay shipper um, with Toledo in the uh, saddle. Um, last time out ran at Aqueduct on the 21st of April. Uh, four and a half furlongs in the main special weight for a hundred thousand dollars. This horse finished second by three quarters in length. Took down twenty thousand dollars that day. Um, you know this horse just was at the rail that day. Um, got bumped repeatedly. It was just a horrible race for this horse. First career start. Coming back today, I think this horse will really do well. Breaking from the outside, like I said, some of the horses get drifted out a little bit wide going into that first turn, uh, into the only turn, actually. But, you know, you want to try, you don't go, you know, you don't want to go six wide into the turn. If you go two wide, it's not as bad, but you want to try and save some t uh, ground. Uh, and this horse has been training, if you look at his running line, uh, training lines, it's been pretty good. Four follow workout down on Laurel, 49-3. Four follow workout, 50-2. And, and a four follow workout, 51 flat. You know, these are some very nice two-year-old races. I, I really like what they're doing here in here in uh, New York, Naira. What are they? What, what they're doing with the um, two-year-old program early on in the season, so the horses can run in those stakes races. I think in a few years' time, this is really going to pay off. Maybe not right now. It might look a little weak, but I think we might see a lot more two-year-old races in uh, May and April coming up. So, um, going to be my top selection here. I also have the two-horse tail of two on my ticket at 9-5. to five. Um, Joel Rosario for Mar Mark Cassie, who has a string of horses here um, at Belmont for the first time. Uh, you know, this horse is a first-time starter. Getting Lasix, uh, first time, of course, because it's a first-time starter. But, um, you know, his, his training lines have been pretty good. A 4 4 5 4 work at 59 flat. If it was 4 4 work at 59, I would be afraid. But 5 4 is at 59. It was the best out of 18. The 4 4 work at 47 and 4. It was the 6th best out of 19. Out of Tail Cat and Storm Cat. Really like that, uh, you know, that combination. Um, so I'm going to go with this one. I'm also going to put on my ticket the seven horse. Truly a moonshot here for Kelly Breen coming in from the Jersey Shore at a yes it's true for the uh, Hall family. Um, you know this is uh, this horse has been training down at Mammoth. 4 4 workout 49 4. Ninth best at 27 uh, at 25 that day. And he's been having some good workouts down Palm uh, Meadows. So I think he should be doing well here. And also have the 1 1A part of an entry down for those uh, last two sparks who have some really nice uh, uh, some very nice um, what do you call those um, workouts. So to recap my bets for race number 1 from Belmont here on this Thursday afternoon. Gonna go with the 6 horse Furlong. Gonna do um uh, Superfecta here, 6271, 6271. So now let's get on to race number three from Belmont. Third race from Belmont Park is the Lounge Optional Claimer. Purse $85,000 for three year olds and upwards, never won 10,000 three times of the main claim starter or state bride, which never won four races, or which never won a race of main claim starter since September the 1st, uh, 2015, or a claim price of $80,000. We have a field of seven horses traveling the distance of ground of one mile on the Widener Turf course. I have a strong feeling, uh, you know, I live in New York, I live on a good day, 15 minutes away from Belmont. Um, I don't think we're going to have turf racing uh, on Thursdays because we just got so much rain. It's going to rain a little bit more on Wednesday. I'm doing this video Wednesday morning. We have buckets full Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, we're going to get some uh, later in the day. Maybe some early Thursday morning also. So I, I have a feeling this race is going to get taken off turf. That's why I have a, a horse who I really like here. 
And that's going to be the five horse Slim Shady, re, re, this old uh, eight year old gelding, who I'm a big fan of. Um, I'm going to key this horse on top of, uh, well, not going to do a super fact key, going to do a straight super fact. I'm going to go five, two, six, four, five, two, six, four. I'm going to use the um, main track only as my second choice. Uh, don't bet for Bruno. But five, two, six, four. Number five, Slim Shady, um, a British bred horse here, four to one with Manuel Franco. Making his uh, first start for Mitchell Friedman, who uh, claimed this horse from David Jacobson last time out for sixty-two thousand. He's in for the price today for eighty thousand. So uh, maybe uh, I really like what uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, uh, what David Jacobson did with this horse? You know, he, he took this horse to Southern California, down to Florida. He, he had a very good winner running on the Tapita, finishing second. It, so far, his career, so far his, um, you know, his, his year so far has been pretty good. But last time out at Aqueduct, Mile 16th, an optional 6-2 claimer on, st on the 17th of uh, April. Finished second by three quarters of length that day. You know, he just got denied by the winner, bigger pitcher. Um, then start four, that was at San Diego Park, Mile 8th, on a good turf course, an optional 6-2 six claimer. Finished second by uh, half length that day. Got the lead at the midpoint, right at the top of the stretch, and you know, and he just got edged away by the winner, who was Pentar. Um, and then Optional 6-2 claimer at uh, Golden Gate. He won by three quarters line, really going away. I think he ran really well. The reason I have this horse on top of my ticket, if there's moisture in the course, this horse should really run very well. He, um, his, uh, his, uh, what do you call that? His, um... Wet course uh, record is four and three. He won um, his last wet course uh, race was on uh, the um, the third of October. Belmont the Slop, one mile an option, six to two claimer, nine words two, one by four and a half lengths. So really, he just very ran very well um, on dirt, like you know regular dirt. He's two and zero, oh, has one third place finish um, and a fourth place finish. The fourth place finish was in the uh, Temperance Hill Invitational that mile five eighths race during the fall. Um, but you know, I, I really like this horse here. He, he should really do well um, in this spot. Um, like I said, he's won twice. Uh, he won once this year and won once last year. I think this horse should really run a very big race here. Has a workout. Four furlongs at Belmont, 49 too. So to recap my bets for race number three from Belmont Park, going to go with the five horse, Slim Shady, which is my best bet of the day. Going to go do a super factor here, 5264. 5264 in race number three from Belmont. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.